Hey, what's happening guys? Today we are taking a look at this. This is the CQV SWR508. It is an SWR and power meter for amateur or ham radio. If you're unfamiliar, SWR stands for standing wave ratio. And it is a measure of the energy that you send out from your radio being sent back from the antenna due to a mismatch. And the higher that number is, the worse it is for your radio and the less power you're putting out. So radio operators like to know, and they also like to know how much power that they are putting out. So some of the features on this guy are it has a 4.3 inch diagonal IPS color display with a resolution of 480 by 272. I know it's not a very high resolution, but I'll tell you what, it, it looks great. And, you know, I don't have any trouble reading it. And I got old man eyes, so there you go. Uh, what else? Operation frequency 1.8 to 54 megahertz. The measurement range 0.5 to 200 watts. And if you look now, you can see it says this is only at 25 watts. It automatically adjusts, I think, in 25 watt increments. So, let me show you. All right, the radio is set to output 20 watts. So we're getting 17.6, and you can see our SWR is 1.83, and it's actually telling you the antenna is 91% efficient. The antenna is getting 61 watts. 1.5 watts is reflected. There's a graph of our SWR, and there is a uh, peak and a uh, current graph. All right, now I'm going to turn on my amplifier which should put out somewhere between 100 and 125 watts so you'll be able to see the meter up here should automatically change yeah so you went right up to 125 watts okay so my radio is doing a little digital thing called FT8 so it can work a little bit independently of us it is not working automatically I am 8 inches from the radio so don't worry about that anyway so this is a uh, completely die, I'm not die cast, probably stamped and bent metal box. Let's see what kind of dimensions we got here. So it's about 130 by 100 by about 95 millimeters. It doesn't weigh much. What's really nice though is it has an internal battery. Turn this around here, and you'll be able to see no power cables. But I'll I'm going to bring this off the radio here in a second once we're done with our little demonstration here, and we'll take a look at it. We'll look at the connectors and everything. All right, so here it is away from the radio, and uh, I checked the specs. It says it weighs 800 grams, and I, I forgot to tell you, it's a touchscreen too. We'll get to that. So here's the back of it. You can see we just have uh, SO239 connectors, or what What do they call them in, in the Chinese vernacular? Or it might just be an international SL16 or something like that, I'm not quite sure. We have a power switch, and we have a USB-C charge adapter. A couple screws there, four on the bottom, and I assume there are a couple screws under those being hidden, and they don't want us to look in there, but yeah, we're going to look in there, don't worry. So I'll turn it on. You can see it's running on battery power right now. And if I just touch up here where it says menu, you can see now we're into our settings. So we have brightness, off time, how long it will turn off um, when there's no activity, an SWR alarm, if it's higher than blah, 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 it'll, it'll start flashing and it'll set off a buzzer calibration this is what is really nice you see i was able to calibrate this and at 1.02 and uh, 0.8 were my calibrations to make it match my radio is it right i don't know but i like everything to match and then of course you know you can put in your call sign i don't know how to get out of there but okay well i guess i've voided my warranty now haven't i Those are tight. Try the other ones. Now they come out pretty easy. All right, I'm going to take the screws out. You don't have to watch me do that. All right, last screw coming out. And we'll both 
get our first look inside. I think. I hope. Okay, here we are. Let's uh, have a look-see in here. Well, this would just be our display driver board up here. You can see it's got a uh, micro SD card where they programmed it. I can't read right now what that uh that IC says but I should be able to see it is that an app now yeah I'll be able to see it in uh editing and I'll put up on the screen what it is and let me zoom out here there's our battery HR 6060904000 milliamp hour 14.8 watt hour well, wow. made on January 9th, 2024. All right, over here is the heart of the matter. Um, you're not going to be able to really see it, but our bridge is right down in there. The bridge is what actually measures the reflected power. It's Just think of it as a directional watt meter, a directional power meter. Power switch. I mean, it's really simple construction and well done. Take a look at that circuit board. Let's say ant. Oh, antenna. Got it. Antenna TX. So. Four point three TFT SWR version one point four twenty twenty two ten eighteen no lead CQV. Give you a good look at that circuit board there. Put it all back together. So that's about all I can tell you about the CQV SWR 508. Other than right now today, the 26th of March, 2024, it is $106.99, 29% off. I don't know 20 now how they do 29% off because I just bought it two weeks ago for $109. So I think they just kind of jack their prices around whichever way they want to try and get you to buy it. But I, I, I can recommend this. It's a good solid piece, and I like the battery. The battery allows you, you know, if you do poda or so, I don't think you'd want to hike this up the side of a mountain, but, you know, if you're driving to a park to do parks on the air, this will, I've had it last about four hours on the battery. The battery shuts off at 3.35 volts. We're at a 3.78. So, yeah, it'll, it'll last a while. Really nice. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.